Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Sip City. We're actually in Sip City, right where we left off last episode. Uh, we knocked down a whole bunch of parks and stuff. We're trying to make this entire area uh, low wealth. We lowered the taxes for low wealth as well uh, in an attempt to combat homelessness in Sip City. Uh, hopefully that's worked. Oh my god, look at this. Petroleum report. Uh, 20,250 adjusted revenue last month. Not the best. Uh, that's... Uh, that's not too bad though. I mean, we can we can work on that. We still got the petroleum HQ here. Uh, we got the trade HQ here. Look at that. Look at that. Two hundred seventy-three thousand seven hundred fifty bucks. God, that's fantastic. Uh, we were saying last episode that we wanted to make the electronics division. Uh, so let's do that. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go into electronics uh, so that we can make TV and computer storage lots uh, at trade ports and start manufacturing TVs and selling them and stuff. It's gonna be great. And look at this building. It looks really cool too. Look at holy shit. Look at that. Cost five hundred thousand to place. God, I did not realize that actually. Actually, uh, maybe we'll, uh, we'll we'll give that a miss until we sort of uh, sort out the uh, the budget because I think we're actually losing a little bit of money now. Uh, but it's okay; we can we can recoup it after. We can't put the sign down unless they've fixed it. I, I don't know. There's been an update since I last played. Let's see if we can place this sign uh, here. Second work. Hey, it worked! They actually fixed it. Hey, look at that. We've got a trade headquarters sign now. Oh, God, that looks fantastic. Okay, great. We'll come back to that. Uh, one, like I said, once we get a bit more money. Um, this is going to be uh, some sort of fantastic tourist destination uh, before long. Uh, so we could probably think about getting an expo center as well. Expo centers, very good for making money. You can make like hundreds of thousands of bucks every single night just by like having concerts and stuff. Uh, it does increase the traffic across the whole city, uh, but uh, like I said, you can make a lot of money, so it should be fine. Let's uh, let's see how the jobs are doing, these low-wealth jobs, because that's why we're here in the first place, and that's why we spent so much time in San Francisco last episode as well. Uh, workers. Uh, low-wealth jobs. Oh, look at that. There's like barely any open low wealth jobs now which is great that means there's no open low wealth jobs in san francisco once we get rid of these open low wealth jobs in sip city it means that all of these extra low wealth people will be going over to sipsville to work and then we can finally start uh, migrating some of the um, services and stuff over to sipsville well the polluting ones anyway start trying to clean up this city uh of course we've got this really big shit stain that we're still trying to deal with here uh the other little shit stains are gone on pretty much now we can check that in a minute look i'm just gonna plant some more trees here just to just to soak it all up god the poor trees they, they pretty much die uh before they're planted uh, which is pretty awful let's see oh look at that look at this ground pollution is like almost totally gone which is fantastic god that is so great okay perfect good um We've made some money. Wow, we've made even more money, actually. I think we're sort of on top of things, uh, money-wise. Uh, how are we doing with everything else? Let's just check quickly. 50 minutes average wait for the bus, uh, not the best. 52 minute average wait for streetcars, not the best. Oh, man, we need a train station. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have to do it, like, eventually. So we might as well think about starting to do it. Uh, pretty soon. Maybe not just yet. Let's try to get some of these services out of here first. Uh, how are we doing with uh, wealth uh, and land value around here? It's still quite high. It's because of the school. Grade school and the public library in the same place means that um, this area is still sort of like medium wealth. Uh, we've got a couple of um, low wealth apartment buildings here, uh, which is very good. Why is this... What is that? Is that like pollution or something? We've just got the, this one streak here. Is that like because it's crime or something? The, the land value of this area is not very good and it could be just because it's crime. Oh, look at this. Look at these streetcars stops are, are not very good for land value as well. Oh my god, that's increasing as well. What the hell's going on here? Oh, are these just all abandoned buildings? God, I can't even see. Well, let's just see. Uh, yes, look at this. <laughs> look at all these people. All these homeless people are, like, trying to live in these abandoned buildings, I think. And it's it's making the whole area uh, completely um, useless for, for the rest of the residents. Uh, God, we really need to tackle this problem. we got a lot of homeless people. Look at that. These people couldn't go to school. They were really pissed about that. Uh, which isn't the best. There's homeless people invading our rich area of town. 
Not the best either. Uh, God, I don't even know what to do about these homeless people. I don't know if we can set up like a shelter or something for them, or if it's just a case of uh, getting back on top of things uh, in terms of uh, people making money uh, through not having to pay so much tax. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. I'm not too sure. Uh, man, our population is over 100,000 people. Look at that. 111,137 people. That's friggin' nuts. Uh, we can probably head over to Sipsville and see now if we can do anything over there uh, with the um, industry and stuff. We should get some workers heading over there now, I would have thought. Let's just double check this quickly before we go over. Yeah, look at that. There's only like... 213 open low wealth jobs here. Uh, let's do it. We'll head over there and see what's going on in Sipsville today on, on this beautiful day. Th there might be something happening over here. The likelihood is, though, uh, that there's not uh, because nobody lives here and there's not even anyone to work in the town hall. Uh, <laughs> we're getting our message about the arcology being possible. I'll increase it to llama speed. Uh, let's see. Anything? Not enough workers. Closing. Needs workers. There's an ambulance racing into the city. Uh, is anyone working here? No. Is anyone working here? No. <laughs> Still not. Uh, what about this trade depot? No. Okay, let's just wait. We'll wait a couple of minutes and see if, like, these buses drop people off to work. Are they? Are, what are... Did those buses drop some people off? Hello? Anyone? No? Still... Still closed? We're... I think... I think before long, though, we will get people. I think it's just a matter of time. A lot of people are saying uh, that I should build, like, a slum on this island. There's a lot of oil under here, though. And um, what we can do is we can start drilling the oil, and instead of selling it to the global market, we can just gift it over to Sip City, as, as well with the uh, ore that we're going to be digging up. I think we can convert it into alloy uh, and gift that over to Sip City as well for um, to help make processors and TVs and stuff. Uh, so we can probably look at doing that. We'll be okay um, money-wise in the city because we'll have a lot of industry to help support it uh, as soon as people actually start working at these industries. <laughs> of course, they're not at the moment. Uh, and I think that's still because we've got uh, all these outstanding um, jobs in uh, in Sip City. Look, 213 open low-wealth jobs. Uh, people should be coming over from San Francisco, uh, although they don't seem to be. Uh, for whatever reason. So we may be in a situation where we need to set up uh, some low wealth, uh, just like a little neighborhood here, just to just to satisfy the the actual uh, need. <laughs> the, the job vacancies, holy shit, there's so many. Uh, okay, let's hop back over to Sip City then and try to sort it out. And then if we can, I think Sip City is a better place to actually set up a bunch of uh, low wealth residences. Uh, especially because we've got uh, that whole area of trees in the middle, which the ground pollution should be gone from now. Uh, so we can probably set up uh, some more residential in there and then, uh, and then see how we go with that. Okay, um, let's get another big avenue, another big streetcar avenue. Look at this. We're going to get this like across here not up there but uh we could certainly move it into here at least let's let's just move it into here and then this can be a feeder road and uh we can get some streetcars and stuff down here and then we can put some more uh another residential area in in here and i think that would be fine uh we'll go for high density streets straight away and we'll go for uh we'll go for a grid we'll go for a grid to match with the rest of the uh of the city, which is at the moment just a big grid. Okay, great. I think all we need to do is that, basically. And, um, oh, actually, is that too much space? I think that might be a little bit too much space. Go for the straight road here and have it come down here. Is that too. No, that should be fine. Okay, fine. We'll do this. Look, we'll uh, place some uh, residential here, place some residential here along these roads, and then we'll have, like, this like square residential area in here and see how that goes okay great let's just check the land value here okay so some of it is going to be medium wealth and then some of it will be low wealth uh which is fine that's absolutely fine okay we want to encourage these people to upgrade in density uh as soon as possible as well so we'll just get this nice uh low budget uh low wealth uh, small field <laughs> in 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 the middle here I think would probably be fine actually there we go just shove that in there look all these people are like super happy already um, 
they're moving into their trailers uh, in the first instance, but hopefully they'll upgrade uh, very soon. There should be enough shops and stuff around here too, I would have thought, but uh, you never know. We'll have to see. We'll see what they start complaining about because no doubt uh, within seconds of moving in, they will start complaining <laughs> because that's what people do. Uh, all right, let's uh, play some streetcar stops along here too. What's that? Streetcar stop, fine, great. Okay, we want to uh, place one here so we can get some fairly decent coverage of this new uh, neighborhood. And also, uh, we want bus stops too. We'll get some bus stops in here just to get some coverage uh, for these people so they can take the bus to like work and, and stuff. Get one down there too. Okay, great. Uh, so bus stops, and I think we also need uh, school bus stops too. There we go. We'll get some in here, here, down here, and on this road here too. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty good coverage, I think. They should have pretty much everything they need uh, to start increasing in density. Uh, hopefully, just this little neighborhood going up will um, satisfy all the open jobs, the there was like 200 or so, I think, uh, open low wealth jobs. Uh, and then if we have some excess low wealth workers, they can start heading over to Sipsville to work. That would be great. That would be just goddamn ideal. Uh, my god, look at all these people heading into this field like straight away. Good god. I don't know why I build these stupid fields. They're, they're just like a magnet. They're, they're like, it's just like a city full of flies. And th these fields are like those neon blue lights that the flies like so much. And they're just like a massive herd of flies heading towards uh, those blue lights. Which is a bit of a goddamn shame actually. Um, I wonder if it's worth putting... Oh, look at this. We could probably fit some more here too. Look. And have them like expand back uh, against the petroleum HQ. Mm, that might look nice, actually. We'll have to see. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, we should have... Uh, our population has risen, actually. Look at that. It's risen by, like, what, 6,000 people since um, since we last came? Uh, I think uh, that might satisfy uh, the needs. Let's see. Has it done it? Workers, please? Oh, yes. Look at that. We actually have 81 unemployed low wealth workers now. Fantastic. That means that they can go over here. Look at that. 997 jobs over here. Come on, everybody. Get your skates on. You need to go over to Sipsville so we can start pumping out uh, all sorts of crap that we need. We need a lot of crap. Look, we're, we're so slowly, slowly losing money in the city, but not too, too bad. And um, it's not, not a situation that we can't recover from as well. I'm going to put some trees down while I remember it here to uh, continue sucking up all this shit. God, you got to love these trees, these shit-sucking trees. That's, that's all they're good for is just sucking up all of this shit. Put some trees in here too, anywhere we can fit them, because I think there's still a little tiny bit of ground pollution around here. Uh, but that's fine. I think we'll probably be able to get rid of it. Let's just double check that quickly. Oh no, there's none. Look at that. Oh no, sorry, I lied. There's like just this like little area here, but it's fine. There's all trees back here, so we should be good. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Um, they talk the same way they do in The Sims. When they they say like su su and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Um, Wow, look at this. There's a lot of traffic uh, queuing up here for some reason. I guess this maybe isn't the the best area of the city uh, in terms of just buildings being all over the goddamn place. Oh, look at this. They're all heading into here too. The Dale Extended Stay. What the hell? What's the Dale Extended Stay? That's residential as well. It's not a hotel. Look at, look at these people. God, they're living like friggin' animals in here. What the hell? Okay, um, so... We've got, actually got unemployment uh, in the city now. How are we doing for homeless people? Uh, we still got quite a few, but... Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> oh my god! They just seem to have moved into this area, from this area. Uh, what's this? Out of money, fine. Uh, out of money, that's not very good. Uh, I think it's because we've got unemployed people now. Uh, but at least with the taxes being a little bit lower, uh, we should be doing... Uh, okay-ish, I guess. What? Are, how are we doing with processors here? Okay, we've got lots of alloy, lots of plastics, uh, which is fine. Uh, and where are we exporting processors from? It's not here, is it? No, it was here? Was it here? Oh, yeah, okay. There's 500 crates of processors there. Okay, great. Fine. Uh, okay, let's uh, quickly check, and then we can head over to Sipsville, because I think we've got this now. I think this is fine. Oh, no, shit. 
There's a whole bunch of open low wealth jobs again. But look, there's actually people heading over here now from this city as well. And there's people... Okay, let, let's try it anyway. And if this doesn't work, we'll just make some friggin' uh, residences in, uh, in Sipsville. Because this is taking way too long. All right, into Sipsville we go. Hopefully this has done it. God damn it. We need to sort out. We, we're kind of desperate, actually. We need to really sort it all out for, uh, for Sips City as well. We need to get like a... We need to get like an expo stadium or whatever. We need we need to do some expos. We need to like have some concerts and stuff. I think that's going to be uh, the next big thing for, for Sip City. Make tons of money. Oh, look at this. There's something foul in the air. It's just tons of farts. Watch out. <laughs> Uh, closed now hiring. Closed. Closed. Everything is still closed. Oh, okay. That's working, apparently. So there's people working at this trade depot, which is good. Uh, still a lot of workers needed here. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to get a whole bunch of low wealth uh, in here and uh, and hopefully be able to actually man some of this industry. And then we can just knock it down later if we need to. So let's do it. We're going to get a couple of roads out like this and we'll build some houses down here. And, like I said, we're going to staff these stupid buildings. There we go. These people are going to be, like, massively unhappy uh, because this area just sucks shit. Uh, there's just, like, pollution everywhere. But if we get these people to work uh, and we can start making some more money in this city, that would be great. Okay. Uh, so here they all come. Let's build a little crappy uh, field for them as well so that they can hang out in that when the uh, factory work is all done for the day. Uh, and then it'll spur them on to increase their density quicker as well. Well, look at this. Look at all the moving vans. Look, all these people are like so desperate to move into the city already. Great. Uh, I didn't build it over here because we'll probably drill up all this oil, I would have thought, at some point. And then we can uh, gift the oil over to Sip City uh, because uh, we're importing it currently. So if we can gift like a ton of oil regular intervals, uh, we can save some of that money that we're spending in Sip City. Uh, make some fuel, sell it all, and make even more money. It's going to be really good. Uh, so here we go. People are finally moving in, which means that we should be getting uh, workers in some of these places uh, before long, hopefully. Oh, look at this. Look, they're all heading to... Hey, look at... They're all heading to, to Town Hall. That's where they want to work. The the best place to work in this whole in this whole city. Oh, look at this. The actual sewage treatment plant is up and running. Oh, that's fantastic. We can start actually um, taking shit from the region in the city. Great. Uh, which means that we can probably make our garbage dump soon, too. As soon as these industries come online, and I think a lot of them are now. Uh, I say that. I'm hovering over them. They're still all closed because they need workers. God damn it. Um, it might take a little while for all of this to, to settle in and take. Oh, what's this? What's it saying? Obsolete flow pipe. Oh, yeah. Did I actually switch this off? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, that'll give us some money back anyway, uh, per hour, uh, which means that we could probably do the, we could probably make the dump. I'll do it. There we go. Outflow pipe's gone. Look, City Hall's gonna be like so happy. All right, let's build this dump then, and then we can start shutting down some of the uh, polluting uh, services in uh, Sip City, which would be great, and saving some money too, because holy shit, some of this stuff costs a lot of money. All right, garbage dump. We're gonna make a garbage dump right here <laughs> in the corner across the street from the sewage treatment plant. Uh, oh my god, these people are just gonna be so goddamn furious. But uh, look at already, look at how mad they are. They don't want to live close. There's gonna be lots of germs and stuff. I mean, I don't even think these people are gonna survive much in this city uh, with all the pollution and, and stuff, but. Uh, luckily, we've got really good, um, whatchamacallit, health services in Sip City. So maybe they could step in and help out from time to time. God damn it. Okay, uh, so garbage dump is online. 300 bucks an hour. We want to edit this straight away, and we want to make a incinerator, which is going to cost us another 300 bucks an hour and 25,000 bucks. We got the money. Oh, look at this. We could put it right on the seaside <laughs> right on the banks of the mississippi great okay perfect we also want to um, make a couple of garages uh let's start with at least uh three it's a hundred bucks an hour fine we can afford that just okay excellent fine so we can collect garbage and we can volunteer our garbage trucks over to uh, Sip City and San Francisco uh, to collect all their garbage as well. Bring it all back here 
uh, burn it all and just create even more air pollution, which will just waft into Sip City, uh, I'm sure. It'd be great, actually, if we had, like, a, a wind farm and we could, like, reverse uh, the effect of the wind farm so that it... Well, I suppose it would sort of, like, blow it anyway, so there would be no uh, need to reverse it. But uh, we could just, like, set up, like, a, a whole bunch of, like, uh, wind turbines in the river here and actually just sort of blow the air pollution out this way because... That's the end of the Earth. Uh, like, it, it'll just go off into outer space at this point, uh, which is fine. It won't kill any of uh, the people that live in the region, which is very good. Okay, the ore mine is now working. Great. Oh, perfect. Which means that this must be also working, storing ore. Great. Uh, are we doing anything with that? No, we'll just we'll use it locally for now. We don't need to export it uh, because we're fine. We're making money uh, per hour. Especially once uh, a lot of these places start accepting workers, which they should do fairly soon, I would have thought. Or do we only have just enough workers to, um, to staff these buildings? Well, if that's the case, that's fine. Those are the important ones anyway. Uh, this one, well, it's kind of important too. Especially if some of these places actually start uh, opening up and uh, creating freight that needs to be shipped out of here. Ah, oh, great. Okay, this is fantastic. Uh, we want to go into specialization. Uh, what is it? It's mining. And uh, we want to make a metals HQ, I think. Uh, we want to sell coal or raw ore to upgrade your HQ and get... No, we don't want that. We want... Is it smelting factory? It might be this, actually. Metal and alloy. Yeah, smelt raw ore into metal or add coal into the mix to smelt alloy. Great. Uh, we can get coal out of this place as well or just import the coal because it's kind of cheap. Uh, if we can make alloys here, uh, we can set, we can gift those over to Sip City as well and help with the uh, processors and TVs and stuff and save some money. And, and that should be kind of cool as well. Advanced coal mine. Okay, great. So this is all we need then. We need the smelting division, uh, which is upgradable after... Uh, what's that? Metals HQ, and then, okay, so we need to mine 96 tons of, uh, raw ore in a day. We've only done 4.3 so far. Uh, that'll change, though. Once, once we get up and running in the city, uh, that'll be fine. Okay, cool. So that's, like, a bit of a longer-term goal. Uh, in the shorter term, uh, we've got these two, uh, services up and running, which means that we can, uh, go into, is it regional? Yeah, we want to go to waste disposal. And we want to Sip City, we want to volunteer at some garbage trucks. Uh, we want to probably volunteer, like, a lot. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of garbage coming out of Sip City uh, in the first instance. That's fine. Great. Okay, perfect. We'll, uh... Oh, what's this? Great works. I don't need to do that just yet. We're, we want to get the space center. Fine. Okay, so we're making 38 bucks an hour in Sipsville as it stands. We got the sewage treatment plant up and running. We got the garbage dump up and running, which means that we can go back to Sip City uh, and close these things down here, and uh, and we can start accepting uh, sewage and garbage in Sipsville, and we'll be saving ourselves uh, some more money in Sip City, which is very good. We could start building up the coffers again, even though, I mean, we still got like over a million. Uh, and with all the gifting of money that we did um, a couple episodes as well, ago as well, uh, that worked out really well, actually. It just gave us like that nice little boost that we needed to, um, to start building shit, uh, which is nice. That's very nice. Okay, so we want to uh, close this. We want to close this. Actually, before we close it, though, we want to go here and we want to see. There's no availability in the region uh, except for this. Oh, look at this. We can buy this treatment capacity, uh, which there's like a ton of in Sipsville. Okay, let's do that. We're going to buy it. Uh, we're going to go back into the city and we're going to uh, shut this down. Look at this. Here we go. Close. Bam. Boo. Now, hopefully... Oh, my God. <laughs> it, hasn't, it hasn't taken... Okay, it's just taken. Great. God, that scared the crap out of me. I just saw all that shit, like, stopped in the road. Oh, it's still stopped in the road. Look at this. It's a disaster. Oh, no. Okay, it's finally just taken. We've got huge deficit, though. Oh, my God. I wish it would just, like, instead of pumping just these... The little ones... Oh, look, it's starting to go now. My God, there's so much shit in this city. You can't even believe it. Look at it all stuck under the roads. Oh, my God. Okay, so the deficit we're working at is 19.6. 
the region. Uh, we might need to go over there and add another uh, cylinder or two uh, in Sipsville to uh, to make up that deficit. That's, that should be okay, though. God, there is a lot of shit just, like, sitting around, though, not moving. <laughs> we've saved ourselves a bit of money, though, and actually we've gained a little bit of money since then as well, uh, which is very good. Uh, shutting this thing down uh, was, was probably a pretty good move. Uh, we can also uh, shut down the garbage dump, which is going to save us another thousand bucks an hour. Uh, and we can buy uh, the extra capacity from Sipsville. So let's do that. Uh, covered by. We want to go to the region and we want to... No, we don't want to do that. Let's shut down our garbage dump uh, and then we can have Sipsville uh, pick up the slack for us. There we go. Closing it down. There we go. Oh my god. Look at this. It's actually, things are like looking up in Sip City. Look at that. 2,474 an hour still in the hole. Uh, but we've gotten rid of the garbage dump and uh, and some of that air pollution, uh, which is very good. And the sewage treatment plant is also offline now. So how are we doing? Uh, are we being covered by Sipsville? Yeah, we are. Six garbage trucks coming in here and helping out, uh, which is very good. Of course, we're still doing recycling locally in uh, in Sip City, but that can change um, at some point as well. Potentially, we can maybe ship the recycling center out of Sip City into Sipsville, uh, which would make sense because I think it is causing some pollution. Uh, and then we got this big oil refinery uh, still producing a lot of pollution as well. But uh, it's not the end of the world. We can we can sort that out at some point. Okay, great. Well. That's fine. We, we had to sort of cheat a little bit uh, because we couldn't get low wealth workers to move from Sip City and San Francisco into Sipsville. Uh, so we had to build uh, a really, really crappy uh, ghetto, essentially, in Sipsville. Uh, but that's okay. There's enough people now to at least man the services uh, and start extracting uh, ore from the ground, uh, which is good. We're going to use that ore to make alloys, which we're then going to gift back to Sip City, which will be fantastic and then eventually when we're making enough money per hour in sipsville uh we'll also look at drilling oil and gifting it over to sip city so that we can process that all into fuel sell it and then we'll make even more money um oh look at this sipsville's garbage trucks look to keep sip city clean oh that's fantastic okay so i think we can probably knock uh this down I'll do it! And the garbage dump too! I will do it! Oh no. Uh, even more ground pollution uh, potentially around here, but that's okay. We can plant a whole bunch of trees and suck it all up. Oh my god, look at this. Holy shit. Oh my god, the processor factory is just like totally out of control. Uh, next thing we probably want to think about doing is getting rid of these... Uh, actually, let's just do that now quickly. We'll get rid of them. We're going to get rid of all this industry down here and start uh, hopefully cleaning up this area of town. Uh, that would be very nice. Okay, so what? We've got uh, Cinesim Corp gone. Capital Industrial Group gone. Business was apparently very good. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. There's a trade depot here. There's this custom machined machines. Not enough room to increase density. You don't have to worry about it because we knocked you over and uh, all this crap too. What's, what is all this crap? Uh, we've got huge bastard here and what's this? Ingram construction. Fine. Look at that. We're back in the hole big time because of all that industry uh, was making us quite a bit of money, but that's okay. Uh, this trade depot can probably go as well. I think this is the one that's exporting the processors. Uh, we've got a fire station. We've got a police station with their fantastic wavy park next to it. Uh, and this trade depot here for freight, which is no longer needed. It's costing two seventy an hour. We might as well just, uh, well, let's just knock it over, actually, because we don't need it. I'll do it. Great. Oh, man. That's like total cleanup crew here. We're cleaning up everything. Uh, wavy park can go, too. We don't need that there. And uh, that leaves us with a uh, huge bastard, which is costing us 1,612 bucks uh, an hour to run. Uh, we can eventually move big bastard uh, or huge bastard, sorry, uh, out into Sipsville as well. Uh, and then just, um, it, it's just going to be a wasteland out there, basically. Uh, but it's nice because Sip City won't have any polluting stuff in it. Uh, once this place gets cleaned up, we, we'll have even more space for uh, residences and businesses, skyscrapers and such, and uh, and really cool uh, tourist attractions. Uh, so that should be pretty good. Let's just take a look at this. Oh my god, this is going to be the worst. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, the processor factory actually produces uh, a lot of pollution as well. Ground pollution. I, I wasn't. I didn't realize that. 
Hmm, we'll have to think about that. And, uh, of course, oh, look at that. That's gone down a lot, actually. Uh, this is increasing, though. <laughs> it's all thanks to the oil refinery. Uh, but the recycling center isn't producing any pollution, which is very good. Uh, I don't know if it produces air pollution. It seems to, a little bit. Unless that's coming in from somewhere else. But, oh my god, look at all the fucking air pollution. My god, these people are just going to be so pissed. That's a lot of air air pollution. Okay, great. Um, so, back in the hole, 4000 bucks an hour. Uh, but we're maintaining. We still got just about as much money as we had before. Uh, the added bonus is that we've gotten rid of all of the industry uh, in the city. Let's just take a look and see, actually, how many low-wealth jobs are left here and see if maybe we can get a whole bunch of people heading over to... Oh, look at that. Look at how many unemployed low-wealth workers we have. Holy shit. And 865 open low-wealth jobs in Sipsville. Oh, my God. That is definitely going to do it. Let's just head over there. We've got to do this. We've got to do it and see if it's, like, updated and, and done everything. We need to add another uh, cylinder to the... Um, sewage treatment plant anyway so we might as well do it i want to see i want to see if all these oh look at that sip city's workers are commuting to local businesses we did it finally holy shit it took forever but we finally did it that's fantastic uh what's this trying to say oh it's probably going to tell me about the arcology again god damn it god damn you arcology i'm sick of, i'm sick of the arcology I, I never want to see that arcology again that's how sick of it i am uh okay let's do this well uh increase this 200 bucks an hour so we're gonna go into the hole a little bit but we've got quite a bit of money so it'll be fine and we'll make it up in like no time anyway here we go we'll add that to there uh increasing the uh excess uh again once again which is very good uh we should see a lot of shit coming in my god <laughs> look at these holy god i don't look under the roads whatever you do people you're not gonna like what you see oh my god <laughs> look at these things holy crap that is a lot of crap look at this ah oh, totally processed though oh, you gotta love that that's fantastic uh okay so we're 162 uh bucks uh an hour in the hole we've got 23,810 uh bucks in the coffers and we should be getting a whole bunch of workers look at all these workers commuting into the city now uh in their cars and on the buses and stuff that's great look most of these places will start filling up now uh all these people will be accepting uh, new permanent jobs at all of these industries and hopefully once they're all online we start shipping out freight and stuff we'll improve this uh money per hour uh, so this is good god this has been a great episode we've seemed to have like gotten a whole bunch of stuff sorted out uh pollution is still like a massive concern but uh not for long because once we build a space center and fly into outer space uh we can just leave this wretched planet behind uh full of ground and air pollution uh we can just leave it to all the mutants that, uh, that we inevitably spawn through our polluting ways and, and start again on a new planet and, uh, and, and, pro and probably pollute that to hell as well. Uh, but it'll just be a continuing cycle where we, we once again, we develop the uh, means to travel into space uh, and then move again from planet to planet decimating it in our path but at least we'll have a, a great time living there uh, for the small amount of time it remains pollution free uh, so there's always that to look forward to great look at all the action in this city now all these people are starting to work at these places look at that they're still upset that they needed workers but the main thing is that actually quite a few of them now have the workers that they need uh, to actually start doing stuff which is great okay uh that's probably enough for today i will leave you there uh as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time!